Hi, it's Ashley from That Homeschool Gal, and I have a fun little project to share with you today. I've been doing more drawing in my sketchbook lately, and I've been bringing it with me on some different trips, too. Um, the thing is, I keep having to remind myself to pack pencils, and I haven't forgotten yet, but I finally found a way to make sure I don't forget. So, I'm going to show it to you. And the great thing about it is, it's a great way to use old jeans. Let me show you. Cut two rectangles one inch longer than your sketchbook by five inches. One rectangle an inch longer than the sketchbook by three and a half inches. And one rectangle an inch longer than the sketchbook by two inches. Okay, so now that I have my pieces cut out, I'm going to start assembling the pencil case. So this piece is going to be the back of the pencil case. And then the zipper's gonna go over here. I'm actually going to use this decorative edge on the outside of the case. So that's a little bit different. So I actually know that I set myself up to have a half inch of this fold over. And it's gonna line up kinda like this with the zipper where you can actually see the zipper. And then the other piece it's going to be on the other side and it's going to be basically the same. So you kind of have these two little um, pinked edges and a zipper in the middle. So we're going to start with this side. I figured it out and I'm going to have basically a quarter inch of zipper sticking out behind this piece and I'm going to stitch right here three quarters of an inch in from that edge to end up with it all lined up right. So, I'm going to line that up and pin it in place and take it over to the sewing machine. Okay, so I put the zipper foot on my machine. I've got it set up so it's on the left side of the needle. Um, and then I have everything set up and lined up so that I'm at three quarters inch seam allowance. So I'm going to go ahead and sew this seam just as a basic straight stitch. And I have, um, my thread actually matches my zipper. So it's going to show up a little bit um, when I top stitch as like a dark blue on top of the denim color. And I think that's gonna look pretty, but just pick whatever color you want for yours. So I wanna be able to see what I'm doing when I touch the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and pin this down and then line up the other side. Okay, so if I could see the whole zipper still, I would line it up the exact same way as last time, but um, I really can't. So, basically I can line it up um, with just a quarter of an inch of this one showing and it will end up right. Okay, so this time I have the zipper foot set up to the right of my needle. And I need to know where to stitch because the there isn't any kind of mark that I can just line up with easily. So I'm actually gonna take the ruler, I have it set up here where I'm a half inch from this edge. I know that's where I'm aiming for. And I think I'm gonna take some of these smaller pens and every so often measuring from the edge of this piece that I'm sewing onto a half inch. And that will be kind of my guide that I stitch toward each little marker as I'm going along this. So down here, um, it probably looks like I'm really off, but it's because the zipper kind of splits where the zipper pole is. And so I'm going to let it kind of follow where it's supposed to go in the middle of this, even though it looks like I'm making a mistake. Um, because when it's all together on this side seam you've sewn, it will work out. Next, I'm going to top stitch these down so that they don't stay closed, but they stay flat and down and open, kind of like this. Um, so this side, because it's so close to the zipper, I'm going to push it 
kind of as hard as I can over to the left. But on the right side, to make it match, instead of pushing it all the way over and making it really obvious that this wasn't quite perfect, I'm actually going to push it a little bit less. I can almost hide it, but I want to just kind of eyeball it till it's even. So right about here. right about here and now it looks even by the time I stitch down on top of it okay so now's a good moment to go ahead and make sure your zipper works okay I'm given it does you don't have to go back and fix anything it's time to top stitch these down so I'm just going to top stitch an eighth of an inch from this fold. So by now you've probably noticed that my zipper is a little bit too long. No worries, it's easy to shorten a zipper. Take a needle that's double threaded and just whip stitch where you want the zipper to end and cut off the rest. So I'm gonna do that. I'm pretty sure you could cut through this with old scissors, but I don't want to dent mine, so I'm just using wire cutters. So at this point, I have a finished front piece, and I have a back piece, and then the exact same size, I cut a piece to make a sleeve to hold the pencil case to my sketchbook. So the next thing I need to do is hem it before I assemble the pencil case. I'm just gonna sew this about a quarter of an inch from the edge on both hems to hold them down. By the way, I just took this over to the ironing board and pressed the sides down half an inch to prepare it for hemming. Okay, so now it's time to sandwich these three pieces together so that you can sew the side seams. And the order and direction they're facing definitely matters and it's a little bit tricky, so just make sure you follow along carefully. The front piece, you want to have its front forward or its right side up. Then you wanna put on the side piece to your sandwich and you're gonna center this piece since it obviously isn't exactly the same width now that we've hemmed it. Um, and you want the back of your sleeve piece up. And then you want to take the back 
and you're going to put it on top of those other two pieces and it has the wrong side up as well. And as long as you do that, it will turn out. Okay, so I have my three layers of fabric. I've pinned them together. I'm actually going to turn it over. I think will be easier because I'll be able to see where the zipper is when I'm sewing. I'm going to start with this end. And we have a half inch seam allowance and we're just going to sew all the way down. this pin out of my way. I'm actually going to, I didn't pin this corner on purpose, but I'm going to unzip this a little bit so that I can make sure the zipper is really lining up and I'm not um, stitching over the zipper with my presser foot because that's just going to get in the way and it's not going to work very well. Okay, so one thing I want to watch out for, and I stopped on purpose, is that this little metal piece at the end of the zipper is really close to my needle right now, and I want to make sure I don't sew over it. So I'm actually going to just take the next couple stitches by hand so that I don't damage my needle. Okay, so I'm past it. I'm good. So I sewed both side seams. I actually had to hand stitch a tiny bit of this seam. Um because my machine didn't want to go through all these layers. So I'm probably not the only person that would happen to. So just kind of be aware. Um, a thimble would be helpful if you're going to do that because it is pretty hard on your fingers pushing it through. But anyway, I finally got it sewn. So we're going to sew the side seams to hold this together. And then I think that's about all this needs. So I theoretically have half an inch seam allowance on each side. And it should be pretty close to that, but what's important is you just don't want to stitch in this part. So if I have to do a little bit less than half an inch seam allowance, that's okay. just feeling along the edge I can feel and to some extent see like there's a little line here where the inside piece is that I'm trying not to catch in my seam um, so I could tell I went too wide here I made my seam allowance too narrow so I went back over it just to fix that up so now's a good time to clean up any extra threads Okay, and then it's kind of handy now that this is a little bit open because I need to actually open it the rest of the way. And now I can turn it right side out. Voila!